We just got back from lunch and the playground and there is a Goodwill in the same shopping center. So my daughter picked out this dress. It was $7.99. There's no label, but I think it's probably J. Crew or some brand like that because it actually had like the security sensor in there. So somebody must have taken the label out. It's got cute little buttons. Um, there would have been a belt, but whoever donated it, the, the belt wasn't there or it got lost. And there's pockets, it's lined. It's a really nice dress. I have been working on cleaning my perfume bottles and um, figuring out how I want to arrange things now that I got the new Curio and I moved my desk over here. And basically, I finished that, so now I've been creative. So in the last haul, I shared a few of these things that I purchased. So what I've done, um, I said I was going to turn this one into a magnet, so that one was really easy. Interestingly enough, some of these metals are magnetic, so you don't even really have to glue them if the magnet is strong enough to the metal. So this was one of those, but I did want to make it um, permanent, so I glued it, so that's ready to go. I've had some fun filling the bottles with certain colored, like monochromatic or color scheme beads and sequins. And making sure that whatever I filled them with didn't distract from the shape and form of the bottle. So I think this one was a good fit. And here's the garnet broken necklace or bracelet that I put into the Silent Night bottle. All of these are subject to change if I find something that might fit or work better. But for now, it's nice to have them in there. This is the little jewelry piece. I think it was probably a broken earring um, that I got at the flea market. So I just bent it around and then um, I actually did take off one of the branches, put it up here. It was missing a rhinestone, so I added one. And then this little bird, I was thinking about using it on something else, but I thought it would be nice just for that last little touch. I think that's nice and then I could even put like a, another little piece here or or um, put a chain with a little dangly thing like let's see I think this will be too big but something like that if it were a bigger bottle so I think I'll just keep this how it is I've also been working on the presentation boxes I was really hoping to find more jewelry pieces to create with at the flea market. But since the man only had one new box, I didn't find that much. Luckily, I found that one piece out of the perfume bottle. So I haven't done much. Um, I do have a little enamel piece and it's in ivy leaf. So I think that I'm just gonna keep it in here. I was thinking it would be fun in a presentation box um, to set up a little tea party scene wouldn't that be cute i don't think i'm going to do it in this one but i've got those two little plates Let me zoom in a little and then i have this pitcher and you wouldn't be able to close the box but i i've done nativity scenes and i'd like to do a little um like nutcracker or christmas themed one and they just the idea is they stay open. I don't know, maybe I will do it on that one. So I think the green makes it feel like a picnic outside. Um, maybe I have a, maybe I'll find a little doll or I have a little doll. So I might just keep those in that box and just let the idea stew in my brain. And then I have this metal monogram that I added to the top of this box. And then I thought maybe I would add like a perfume or something in there or a lipstick, but the one that I have does not fit. So I'm gonna uh, make sure this one is really dry and then go in there with tweezers to pull out the little strings of, of glue, which I could probably do right now. So I haven't gotten too far on them. But a little bit. Just a quiet day around the house. We had some plans, but my daughter wasn't feeling great, so now we're just staying home. 
I went outside, I was watering and noticed that um, I could probably dry another batch of herbs. I'm trying to stay up on that this summer. So parsley is finished and about to go so in the I jar. So I thought I would get into my corner cabinet, open up the top and the bottom and see if there's anything I'd like to rearrange or have tucked down in the bottom that I want to display for the rest of summer. Now that my kids are older, they do like to decorate their rooms. So some of the things that I would have normally had down here, especially cute little figurines, I put them in their room and they really enjoy um, putting those out for the different seasons and holidays. So I have a little less to put out. I've also moved some things to the uh, living room as well, but I have some pictures of the kids from 4th of July. Here's a picture of some people at the beach. I may or may not put that out. And a couple little flag pins. I also have this frame I'd like to put on display. I had space to add this picture of my grandmother at the beach on the top shelf. And I think that adds some height and just fills it in a little bit better. On this shelf, I have these souvenir spoons and I picked these up recently at a church rummage sale. This one, even though it is England, has the red and the blue and we've got Battle Monument and this is one from Atlantic City. So I love the souvenir and um, connection to Atlantic City, especially having it on display in the summertime. I just tucked in this picture of my daughter from 4th of July over here. And this flag is something that my son did. I really enjoy that. And the same down here. So that only took a minute or two, but it's nice to have those family pictures on display. And I was saving them since the one is at the beach and the other one is the 4th of July parade. I was saving those um, to put out after June. A while ago at Trader Joe's, I bought this spicy Mexican style rice cauliflower. Very good. It is on the spicy side. looks like there's jalapenos in there. Um, so I did a chicken breast with taco seasoning. And then I have this rice in here. Um, I had a little bit of frozen corn that I added and I had some green and red peppers from our sausages the night before. So I cut that up and added it. And then we've got cheese, cilantro, sour cream, you know, all kinds of stuff to go with it. We have steamed shrimp for dinner and a salad. And my daughter has been attacking the watermelon. Well, we've had two cucumbers and kitty patooties eaten both. For dinner, we are having grilled kielbasa and pork chops. They were thick pork chops that I, I guess, butterflied is the term. So that's why they look big. We've got salad and there were some leftover roasted vegetables. I've made myself some almond tea in this teapot that I picked up at our church rummage sale last summer. And it's just so convenient because it has that strainer for loose tea. And I remember that I had a few pieces of art to pull out for the living room. I have that palette that was free and then this painting that was $3 at a yard sale. I also remembered that I have this drawer. So I opened it up and surprise, I found some more red, white, and blue things. So I decided to put them out. I'm enjoying the nice weather here in the shade under the tree. I've got a book to read and I thought I'd share a little bit of the garden and how it's doing. Cucumbers are doing well. And I see we actually have a pretty good size green pepper. Oh, two of them. Those are great. And there's a lot of tomatoes, especially on this plant down at the bottom. 
those are brandy wines. And we're starting to get a lot of cherry tomatoes here. Usually our zinnias are taller, so maybe this is a different variety, but that one's about to open. And these are about to open here. We've got sunflowers down the fence as usual. Spaghetti squash plants, we're trying those for the first time. Marigolds, black-eyed Susans that just happened to pop up. I think small dahlias in those pots and lots and lots of buds on the geraniums here. And we've got some good color in the garden, nothing like spring, but still pink and purple. And then I bought a pack of three dahlias and it looks like we've got buds on this one and that one there. So two of the three came. I believe that looks like it was probably the leaf to a hollyhock, but something has eaten it and it's not gonna do anything. We're just leaving all of this here to see what it is, see if it's plants that we put last year or not. And our neighbor has some beautiful color with the day lilies or tiger lilies, not really sure. We've got the bee balm, which is a gorgeous color. And I noticed that the butterfly bush has some flowers on it. Hope you guys have a great 4th of July, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.